a gamer. Today we will be learning how to make those swords that you see right here. Um, it's going to be very easy for the modeling. It's a beginner tutorial. We will we'll only use uh, extrude and scale. So um, yeah, and we'll add two materials: the black one for the handle and the white one for the sword. So uh, let's go. So I'm going to start a new file. So to do this, click on File, New, Reload Startup File. Okay. So this should be the first thing you see when you open up Blender. So um, yeah, so let's go in the modeling part now. So first, what you're going to do is press S Y, and you're going to, whoop, you're going to scale it down to about this. Then you're going to do S X, scale it down about that much. Now what we want to do is go in front view, so you can press one on your numpad or just go in view in front. Now we want to go in perspective, so you press 5 on your numpad or go to view perspective. Okay. So we'll go in edit mode, so press tab to go in edit mode. You can go here where it says object mode and click edit mode. So, okay. What we want to select is, uh, if you go down here, you should see some face selection uh, mode. And on the right side, you should see this little icon. Click on it. This icon does, what this icon does, it does that we can see behind the other vertices. If I'm not putting it, I cannot see behind others. That's why we need it to select vertices that are behind. So check this one. So going back in front view. So now we're going to deselect everything. In Blender, A is to deselect and select everything. So I'll press A. Everything is deselected. So now what I want to do is extrude the top part. So what I will press is B. There should be this thing coming out. If you left click and you drag, it will drag a box. So drag a box around those top vertices. Once you have that, you press E to extrude. With your mouse, drag it up to about here. Deselect everything. Press B again. Select those right vertices. Press E. And enter 1. So this is going to extrude it on one blender unit. So now, do the same thing. So Deselect everything and select the left side vertices. Press 1. Whoops, sorry, E. One. Okay. So, what we're going to do, you select now the bottom vertices, press E, and you enter 0.5. Okay. So now what you're going to do is press S to scale with the same vertices selected. You scale it down about that much. Do the same thing with the other vertices. So I select those on the side. And, uh, no, don't, on the one for the side, what we're going to do is extrude them a little bit. So you press E, um, 0.5 again. Yes, 0.5. Do the same thing with the other. E, 0.5. Okay, so scale this one down. Once you have those side vertices selected, scale them down about that much. Okay, so now we're going to do the blade. Move a bit on the top, so you hold the, the mouse, uh, the scrolling mouse wheel, and you move it like this. You must select those top vertices, so with B, drag a box around those. So once you have those selected, press E, touch nothing, and press X. Uh, no, not X, but no, just press E. Then pr do a right click, S. And Y. Then with your mouse, you just put it about this. So this thing that you see right here is going to be our blade. So you can go back in front view. You can uh, de zoom. So you go this with the uh, mouse wheel to press E to extrude and extrude it about here. Do again another extrusion about here. Press S to scale. Scale it down a little bit. Again a small extrusion. Scale it down a little bit do another extra small one and now press W then if you look in this menu you should uh, look you should uh, see merge or you can do alt N but I will do merge at center so that means that those vertices are merged at the center so if we press tab again we'll get out of the edit mode and we can see how our blade looks now let's add the material to our blade go back in front view Go back in edit mode, deselect everything by pressing A, slide this menu on the right, click on this little ball which is the material section, 
So what you're going to do is press B, select the whole handle part. This is the whole handle part, so you just do this. You drag a box around all those vertices. Then you do assign. So this material will be assigned to this part. So I can change the color to black. So I click on diffuse, change it to about this. As you can see the whole so the sorry, the whole sword is black. But we want the blade to be white. So what we're going to do now is deselect everything. We're going to press on this little plus button like this. Then you press new, press B and select the blade. If you zoom in a little bit, you can select those part here. So now we have the blade selected. What we're going to do is make the material. So you put intensity to the maximum, intensity on specular to about 200, um, the diffuse color to the whitest you can get. If you scroll down, you should see mirror. Check that box. Scroll this menu down. Open this menu and put reflectivity to about half of its uh, bar. Now, once you have that, you press assign. If we get out of the edit mode by pressing tab, we can see that the bl the blade is white. But but we had some we added some little a, a bit sorry a bit of reflectivity, so it will reflect on object. So yeah, if you see this on your sword right here, I'll I'll say to you how to remove it. So what you're gonna do is deselect everything. So press A, hold Shift. You know, before doing this, check out this box, which is uh, the one to see the, the vertices behind. So you check it out, so you we will not be able to see the vertices behind. So hold the shift, select those vertices, and the one in behind too, like this. Now, once you have that, you select your first material, which is black, and you do assign. Whoa, it's not working. Okay, no, we'll do another way. So select this, those face icon right here. Select those faces, this one and this one. Select your black material and press assign. Okay, that works. So if you want, we learn how to place them as they were in the result. So what we're going to do is delete our camera. So right click on your camera, press delete, click there. Shift A, or you can go here to add mesh, uh, not mesh, but just add camera. So as you can see, your camera will start not this way, but the other way. So what you want to do is Alt R to reset its position. It's going to be like this now. So you put it about here. And you press R, X, 90. You just, if you want to go in camera view, what you can do is press zero on your numpad or just click on view camera. Okay. So let's say that this, this is the view that I want. So what I will do is select the sword, press R, X, uh, no, uh, Y, R, Y, and I press G to move, X, G, Z, about here. And now what I'll do is duplicate this sword, so I will do Shift, D. So now it's duplicated, so I'll press G, X. I'll move it about here, press R, Y, 90 a minus 90 degree like this you can press okay this is not so I'll select two of them by holding shift R Y like this so now I can move it a bit here so now what we're going to do is um, put the lamp but uh, sorry but you just need to put the sword a bit in front of each other so sorry now we'll put the lights so you can select your light by clicking on it then if you go in camera view, I'll move it right in front and I'll put um, the energy to 3. So to change the energy and the color of the lamp, you just need to go on this little icon right here. So I will add now the background, which is the sky. So you click on this little earth, on this little planet somehow, and then you click blend sky. You, after you enter real sky on the horizon color you'll put orange not too bright and on the zenith color you'll put um, I think I've added blue 
you add a bit of blue. So here you should see how your sky looks. So for the render, what we're going to do is press F12 or going this little camera and clicking render. So press F12. So the, the, the image is rendered. So now if you want to save your image, what you can do is press F3 and save it where you want. So uh, this was the tutorial, hope you liked it. If you want some more, just subscribe, comment, and like. Um, see you soon.